Here are some facts about Five Islands Trinidad that you probably didn't know. Well, the largest and first to meet you on the way is Caledonia, which was once very well developed with two beaches, jetties, and was the most exclusive. So exclusive that the wedding ceremony of the country's first prime minister, Dr. Eric Williams, to Dr. Maylene Mook Sang, was held there on November 13, 1957. Joined to Caledonia Island by a man-made causeway is the smallest, Craig Island. Many thought them to be one island, but they are really two. The house on Craig Island was known to be grandiose and luxurious and was occupied by the caretaker of the island, but was also leased to government officials. Nelson Island is by far the most historically significant. Apart from the well-known history of being an immigration and quarantine station for the over 100,000 Indian indentured immigrants to Trinidad, the island's history impacts many of the major ethnic groups in TNT. During World War II, the island housed German and Austrian Jews, along with labor leader Uriah Buzz Butler, who was imprisoned for some years for treason and sedition. Decades later, in 1970 and 1971, 50 members of the Black Power movement were also detained there during a state of emergency. Then there is Lenigan Island, which was named after its early 19th century owner, Louis Lenigan, but was repossessed by the government and used as a hospital for the critically ill and highly contagious immigrants from Nelson Island. Foreigners who died on Lenigan were illegally cremated on a platform on the western end of the island. The fourth largest is Pelican Island, which in the 1900s gained popularity as a holiday island for families of the upper class. During the Second World War, a degaussing station was built for metal-hulled ships of the U.S. Navy. Finally, there is Rock Island, which is the second smallest and measures no more than 50 meters in length and 30 meters in width. In the early 19th century, there was a house that was leased to wealthy private citizens by the government for use as a holiday home. It, too, was eventually used as a quarantine depot with a yellow flag that was raised when it was confirmed that the inhabitants had a certifiable contagious disease. Interestingly, all of these islands are made up primarily of limestone, as they were formed by a raised coral reef. A drone shot reveals the remnants of many of the prestigious structures that once existed there, and although these islands are so small that they are not even visible on Google Maps, the size of their impact is immeasurable.